Today is a day I'm going to start painting Honey, my RV. But there's something I have to do first. I have to find somebody a new home. This is a half-grown pack rat or wood rat. Common in our area, unfortunately. <laughs> this is my seventh rehoming of a pack rat. He decided to move into the attic last night, made a whole lot of noise, and I am now going to take him out, put him where I put all the other ones, which is out in the woods past where there are homes in our area. There's a creek there. So he should have a fairly nice existence out there, just not getting into my attic. That's the first thing I'm going to do today. I keep a plastic bag in the back of the car when I'm doing this so that if he pees in there, he doesn't pee in my car. Let's go. product that I'm going to be using to do the priming is called Stick It. It's a very aggressive primer. It, you can use it on all kinds of surfaces and the fiberglass siding is one of them. I read about this one and thought it sounded perfect for what I wanted to do with honey. I even contacted the company to make sure that painting an RV with this would be okay. And they said, yeah, definitely. So this is what I've gone with, Stick It. It's just a white primer, so I'm going to cover the entire RV with the primer before I actually cover it with paint. I am going to now put on another coat of primer. So I think that's it for primer on this side. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sanding to get some drips out and where bugs have landed in it. But I think this side is done for priming anyway. Now I only have three more sides to go. Woohoo! So I managed to get both sides and the back of honey covered with two good coats of primer. I started on the front and I've got one coat on the front and then this happened. You can hear the rain. I am hoping it's not going to wreck what I've done on the front. We weren't supposed to get any rain today. It was actually supposed to be like plus 41 Celsius, which is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You look out this way, you can see it's actually cloudy and now raining. I don't think it's gonna last very long though. So hopefully it's not going to wreck my primer coat on the front. Keeping my fingers crossed. I really can't complain about the rain though because it is so dry here. As you can see by my yard, which is really just the bush, <laughs> it's uh, pretty dry out there. So I've pretty much finished priming honey. I've got the two sides as well as the back all finished. And I've done a little bit of sanding to remove any kind of drips or spots where there was maybe a little bit of uh, the roller or something like that on there and a few bugs. <laughs> I'm still working on the, the front part that goes over the cab. Yesterday while I was busy painting it, it was a nice cool cloudy day yesterday, but the forecast didn't call for any rain. But the weatherman is usually wrong. When I came out later to look at what had happened with the primer. I just put a really thin coat on. You could actually see the rivulets of water that had come down and washed it completely away. So it was still just the bare siding showing through these little rivulets of water that had run down. I've now given it another coat and I want to give it one more coat because the front of the camper is the part that is going to take the most abuse probably as far as the wind blowing on it and bugs and all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure that it's got a really good layer of primer before I start to put the paint on. You can see what a wonderful neat painter I am. I picked up the paint tray full of paint, 
stuck it under my arm so I could pick up something else and proceeded to tip the paint all over the side of my shirt. <laughs> I'm not a very neat painter. I enjoy painting. I'm just not very neat. Oh well. 